and our youngest is being looked after by a good friend of ours for the night. So for the first time in a long time, just me and Bega are out for a hunt, with the goal being to try to see if we can get her a deer. We're on a bit of an evening stakeout down onto some scrubby clearings and bush edges blow us. She's got a deer. It's the biggest deer. Was a goose. An actual goose. Two hours of light left. Hopefully a deer comes out. Yeah, just a young stag. Beck has just spotted a deer down below us. So we're just closing the gap to sneak in and get a shot. sure that Beck has just shot a young stag. It was pretty tense, we had a fair bit of waiting. He popped out and every time we was just about to squeeze off he would bloom and disappear again and finally he popped out and Becca put a bullet in him. But he stumbled around for a wee while and disappeared behind some scrub so hopefully if we get down there and he's dead. Yeehaw! work babe awesome your first little stag awesome good stuff woohoo my first stag so sweet this is my second deer um i haven't been out in a few years due to just having kids family life um dylan is usually the one that gets all the deer in the family but today it was my turn. Um, my good friend Scott's um, our son. So um, yeah, stoked to get my second deer finally, and um, just a little stag at that, which is which is pretty cool. shoot a rabbit.
All right, there's a shot there. Wait, yep, center shoulder, gently squeeze. Wait, you're gonna have to be a little bit quicker on the gentle squeeze, okay? He's gonna go. There, yeah, I'm on him. Meow! There, shoot him there. You think you missed? Yeah. All right, so we're out first thing this morning, having a look from a lookout up behind us right around the farm for a deer, and I spotted a hind and a yearling across here. And they didn't present a shot in time, we were just set up and then the buggers went into some scrub but we could still see them and then Becca spotted a stag was with them. And yeah we waited for the stag to come out and the hinds walked out onto a clearing and the stag followed. But as per usual we put Beck under a bit of a bit of pressure on the shot at about 320 metres. And I had to whistle at him to stop him from disappearing for good following the hinds. Didn't present the best shot and I don't think she's necessarily made the best shot, but it does look like she's connected. So we're going to get over there and have a look. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed he's dead. All right. Well, we've tracked them all the way through the valley. We're basically back up the top there is where we shot from. So we're right back on our side and this is where he came through. We found blood just down in the scrub here and Sarko's just gone all funny and gone off the trail and I, we have no idea where he's gone in the open from here. He's gone a long way back to where we shot from through one hell of a nasty gorgy gully. So. He's not hit very well, unfortunately. Pretty gutting, but it's what happens sometime. We can't say we didn't try, so bugger. actually a really awesome night away with me and Becca first time in a long time as I've said so that was pretty cool I rewatched the footage of that stag after finished tracking him through that valley and up the other side and on another look it looks like the shot hit him in the leg so hence why he was so mobile and we tracked him so far quite often animals when shot in the leg like that will survive so hopefully he survives with not too many complications it's pretty gutting and none of us like to have that happen but it's just the way things go sometimes I put Becca under a fair bit of pressure on that shot so she's not to blame it's just the way it unfolded that is what it is happens to all of us so you're not a hunter unless you've lost a deer at some point or you haven't shot enough deer if you haven't lost one I say that's sort of the tail end of the roar actually, the first couple of hunts I've done in a while. Unfortunately my roar was stuffed for me, I had a couple of weeks worth of hunting planned but I had COVID pretty badly in early March, it knocked me about really good for a week and then lingered for quite a while. I then went hunting when I thought I was coming right and I had a big relapse and I spent another two weeks stuck at home sick and that made me cancel all my raw plans because I just there was no way I could get out of the house it was pretty um pretty damn depressing to be honest but I'm slowly coming right now it's the end of April I'm starting to feel better although very unfit and not my normal self I'm coming right so a couple of little easy hunts on the farm to warm back into it and come May we'll be back out there chasing some late raw post raw stags hopefully and then it's my tar trip in June down south so good
good things to come. It's not all bad. Hey.